Walking on fight inside of me. It don't. It don't go down. It goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! Yeah. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. That guy fucked up! Hi, I'm Tank. Kaboomatoon. And today I'm going to show you how to relive your grandfather's PTSD by participating in a 256 player match of full fledged war. Everyone has a mic, everyone has a class, and everyone has a gun. And here, infant babies can learn how to drive into crowds of people. Role players can learn how to pilot their first helicopter. Spammers can throw grenades in a choke point and hear more slurs than a 12 year old who learned how to curse. There are more copyrighted music played through the mics than copyrighted music in a Disney film. This is Battlefield Remastered, a game that out battlefielded Battlefield itself. And despite having no ratings, at all, it is one of the most anticipated games to drop on Steam, and here is footage of me playing it. First of all, the classes. I don't really know anything about the squad leaders, but I imagine Neckbeard's yelling at you for not placing a C4, right? The assaults are kinda just, you know, assaults. Like, they think they're Giga Chads and there's nothing more to it. The medics are where the real Giga Chads at. I would know. Faster healing, you could heal yourself and teammates. And it's kinda fun to drag a teammate across the firing zone because you are role playing as a medic. Engineer, these guys just love blowing shit up. Yeah! The support class seems underappreciated, sorta of because they supply the ammo crate, but I feel like anyone but themselves use it. But they have to carry their fat balls all day, which is why they're so slow. And the recon. Usually I've never had any issues with them, but if you come across a good sniper, run and pray to god they don't find you. Let's wait for Lucas, let's wait for Lucas. Yo! Get down, get down, get down, sniper, sniper, sniper! I'm good, spawn on me, spawn on me, I'm in the car. Oh shit! I won't lie. Let's go, let's go! Oh! I- I can't wait to see my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all ready? Oh, wait, let me get in the back. Let me get in the back. No, we got no. extra people. No, look, don't forget, don't forget, look at it. Don't forget, look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> Cars in this game are really fun. Not only does it look like lively crash footage straight from Roblox, but now imagine going into war in an armored vehicle full of your friends. Yo, I'm on the turret! I'm on the turret! I'm on the turret! Map? Go to B, go to B, rather go to B. Okay, here, wait. Nobody's there, like almost nobody. Yo, you are going the wrong way. Yeah, no, 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 go through here, go through here, go through here. No, we're going to B. Fine, fine. Yo! So, the question comes, what makes Battlebit better than Battlefield? Well, other than it not being a buggy hero shooter piece of shit, it's a game that every Battlefield fan didn't know they wanted. 64 vs 64 is a lot of players, and that hyped up everyone for 2042. But for no reason whatsoever, Battlebit doubles it without turning your PC into a nuclear warhead. I feel like either the devs are sweating their balls off to fit 256 players in the game, or the game was so optimized for 128 that they said fuck it, double the number and immediately cream seeing that it worked. If you thought 2042's leaderboards is an eyesore, then you will hate Battlebit. The leaderboard gets so big that your computer hiccups a little just to process every player's stats. Did any of us ask for sledgehammers? Yes? No? Well, <laughs> fuck you, we have it anyway. You can now become your favorite British sledgehammer wielding agent. Let there be light, or whatever Jesus said. There are also pickaxes. They break things slower, but like Minecraft, you can break pretty much everything. Oh my god. Hey, Snipers can now fake their sights, making you change Snipers diapers every few well. minutes. And you can now shoot grapple wires to anywhere you want, so you can bring your squad of 60 players up a building and blast everyone below. Apart from that, gadgets are the same. We got C4s, okay. yeah. we got claymores around every corner you look. No, 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 wait, we have one more addition. It's called the... Uh... Holy shit. Hi! Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. I die with honor! I die with honor! Everything's fine, I got an RP here, we got him. Thanks, bro. Yo, Fuck it, just me. go, just go, just Pick go! Me, stop trampling my body! No. Suicide C4! Oh, oh my god. god. I'm fast. I die with honor! Aw, didn't work. But there's something that I really love that every other Battlefield game is missing. We've seen it in other shooter games, PUBG, Warzone, God! Roblox The Hood 2021. It's not the Suicide C4, it's not the call for medic button, it's not motorcycles, that would be fucking sick though. And it's not Battlefield sex, that comes close to second. It's my favorite feature of all time, the ball scratcher, the femur breaker, the butt <laughs> particular. It's... Just wait for it. 
Yup. Hold on. It's the leaning feature. You can hold Q or E to lean over walls. Yes. Thank you, everyone. You can lean down. The video is officially over. You have to do this for free. Just subscribe. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm just fucking with you. It's... Proximity chat is one of the best ways to turn your multiplayer game into an 11 out of 10 for no reason, and Battlebit is no exception. For anyone that is currently high on Adderall and does not know what proximity chat is, the closer you are to another player, the better you'll hear them, and the further away, the quieter they will be. If you guys think about it, it's just like real life. While the idea of 128 versus 128 with a proximity chat enabled seems good on paper, in reality, the word good is an understatement. You know how in Battlefield 1, usually when you're rushing front lines of your team, you hear a scripted in game battle cry. It's the same in Battlebit, but it's real time with the real screams. <laughs> Push them back, let's go! Voice chat is automatically turned on when you die, which you can use your voice to call nearby medics so they can revive you. But because voice chat is turned on when you die, you usually hear more stuff like this. <laughs> Being able to communicate with the other squads around you has restored my humanity. There's even a separate voice chat for squads. Whoever made this map is just terrible. Things just planted on top of each other. Yeah, be quiet. Oh, fuck your mother, nigger. If you're a squad leader yourself, you can use the squad leader chat that is only available for squad leaders. If you somehow persuade six other squads into pushing a choke point, you can create a cinema shit post that will look better than all of Avatar's live action film. You can also communicate with enemies as well, meaning you can turn the entire proximity into a Black Ops 2 lobby within a few minutes. This feature should be breaking your immersion, but the chaos of this entire game brings it all together. I got it. Alright, let me get in with you. I have all the extremes, by the way. I totally got this shit. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! No! Just control! 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 Get that motherfucker! <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm yeah, loved. <laughs> yo, 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 chill, chill, chill! Chill! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, the guy's gonna get me. <laughs> we can't do this. We can't do this. Oh, it's smoking. That's not a good thing. We're it's giving the trees a haircut. We're being shot down. Move. Hey, hey, we're going down. Jesus, do that. Oh shit. Oh my god. Listen, this isn't my fault. I, I, I was a wooden pallet. Someone light that shit up. I got you. I got you. Oh. Oh fuck. It's not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? Hey, later. Hey. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened to your voice? Go to D, go to D, go to D, go to D. Oh, here we go, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Open road, baby. Oh. Yes! Bruh. <laughs> Good shit. Thundercock. I love Thundercock. <laughs> Oh, passing by, just passing by, just passing by, just passing by. <laughs> Guys, I just got promoted. Thank you. Russia's mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Okay. You know, I'd still wait here instead of play Battlefield 2042. Oh shit. Oh god, oh my god! Okay, before anyone starts bitching, I don't hate Battlefield 2042. I know I've done some hot takes in the past in a video I can't put my finger on, but before you bombard me with my IP address in the comments, Battlefield 2042 has been updated constantly and is now receiving more love as of today. But right now, funny block game good. So if you dislike it, well, fuck you bitch, we can't even see it anyway. But you know what everyone disliked about Battlefield? The maps. Boyfriend 2042's maps were, uh, it's the, the biggest, biggest piece, piece of dog, dog shit. shit. The maps were so wide and open, you could be a sniper peeking behind enemy lines and see two marine soldiers sucking each other off. I can't say the same on Battlebit. I'm not a game professor or something, but it's pretty good. Each map is unique with their own characteristics, whether that being the location, weather, or a funny orb on the cover image. The size of each map is gargantuan, but creates borders depending on the player count or game mode. Every map has their own respective night version, but the difference is God turned the lights off, grabbed 
grabbed some popcorn and sat down to watch. Which means the night vision key on your keyboard is finally being put to good use. Night vision goggles are just a full bright key and then a filter slapped on top. And just like real life, staring at a flare with them on will feel like staring at the fucking sun. If you ever remove these goggles, you immediately want to put them back on. That's because it's dark as shit and you can't see anything. Visually, the game is... Um, it's Minecraft with guns. But for the record, the FPS is smooth, the animations in this game are solid, and the destruction is satisfying. You obviously can't tear down an entire building, but it's still pretty good. I had a lot of thought, and it's hard for me to pin downsides on this game. And just a reminder, this game is not done. It's still in beta and goes through a lot of changes for the better. But I still have a few things to say. Although 256 players is very funny and very chaotic, if you're the kind of guy who only gets enjoyment from pub stopping a game, good luck trying it here. The map UI deserves a little more love. It would be nice to draw on it for other squad members, just like CSGO. The foul is too strong. What the the only downside is that aiming down sights feel like I'm staring at a brick wall for most of the time. The medic is good, almost too good. It makes assault less viable, considering you can heal yourself an infinite amount of times. Also, it's spring break. Why are we getting playtests a week apart? There is absolutely no way I will forgive this. Unless you had sex, okay, moving on. But regardless, this game is just great. Isn't that right, Obama? Yes, this game is awesome. Definitely one of my most anticipated games. Oh, oh shit. Wait, pick me up, pick me okay, up. Okay, give me a sec. Let me blast this. brother out, level brother out. Grenade! I've poured in 30 hours into this game, and I can tell you that Battlebit is more than a decent game. It's a passion project made by some bros who just wanted to put out their own version of Battlefield, and succeeded. So go on, yeah. play it. The next public playtest is going to be on March 25th, 6.30 a.m. PST. I'll leave the link to the Discord server as well as the Steam page in the description below. If you're wondering what this LEGO <laughs> low-budget avatar is, it's supposed to be my youtube avatar i didn't have the brain capacity to fairy craft an avatar in blender nor did i have the brain cells to port it to sfm but i do have the brain power to spend money i just ported my roblox avatar to sfm listen i know it's weird but holy is it convenient bro speaking of sfm you may have noticed i've been sprinkling in little animation bits here and there because i got into sfm like a lot i would sit down here and tell you to please like and subscribe so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Listen, man, I'm not gonna let a fan guy edit and an ultra kill shit post dominate my channel. Please fix this. If you're into these kind of videos, I made a Ferrana video a month back, which was like five minutes long. And yo, about a bit, devs. By some miracle, if you're watching this, let me know if I did your game any justice. I don't have an outro, but I have Obama. Don't forget to like and subscribe. He really needs it, Fuck you.